you two met in 2014 at the Elements Music Camp. That's right. Such a wonderful camp. Please tell us more about this camp and how this musical collaboration began. We actually met, uh, I think, way back 2007. I was being managed by her friend. By my friend. By one of my close friends. And then mm. that's where she heard me the first time. And then the next time we met was 2014 during the Elements Music Camp. Mm. The delay yung flight namin from delayed ng same day to the next day. So we oh, got wow. we got time to actually talk. Yeah. And then it all started with a selfie just to show our common friend. Because there were like uh, 60 campers. 60 campers. Mm. So, and he wasn't on my team. Yeah. So I only got to talk to him that last day because he approached me, took a selfie and said, do you remember me? I, I mm. met through, we met through this and that. And then I was going to join a contest and I wanted a strong vocal on my, on my song. So I said, let's record tayo. Mm. So she asked me to, to sing her NT4 Phil Pop. Yeah. And in my mind, I was like, this is not going to happen. Mm. No. So dumating yung deadline ng Phil Pop. No Trina Bellamy the messaging me or anything. The contest got extended. So that's what I called that's him. Mm. So it was meant to be but so but we didn't win by the way. In fact we, okay. we didn't make it to the finals. We were like they needed twelve entries, we were number thirteen. But that's what we happened. kind of bonded over our hopes for the contest. Uh. We, we were so excited about it and then when, when he didn't make it, when we didn't make it, I was more disappointed for him than for me. Cause uh. oh, I may history na naman ako joining contest. It was gonna be his first time if ever to be like an interpreter yeah. so i'm like no i want i want to be the one to give this guy a break wow. like let's let's do something independent let's just experiment on something so we recorded i wrote a song for him called ever my only love mm. that's the song that won best, best ballad, ballad recording mm. in, in the recent uh, mm -hmm. awards but pero, yun, we, we released it independently and mm. let's just see what happens. Mm. And I was asking him, so who's your manager ba? I mean, kanino magpapaalam, whatever. Mm -hmm. Sabi niya, wala akong manager. Ikaw na lang mag-manage sa akin. <laughs> he, he reassured me. Sabi niya, hindi, front ka lang. <laughs> Mag-front ka lang. Tapos, ako yung gagawa, ako yung magtatrabaho. Okay. So, Trina, you've been in the music business for 25 years. Yeah. Paano ka naman nag-umpisa? Moy Ortiz of yeah, the company yeah. was yeah, instrumental yeah. in um, my entry into the music business because mm. For, for some time, I was working for an ad agency. I stayed there for like seven months, but it wasn't for me. I knew music was where I belonged. So I, Moy knew that I wrote songs as a hobby. Mm. So I said, why don't you try submitting songs? Because Joey Albert is looking for songs. Mm. Uh, so I submitted a whole bunch and she got one song. And shortly Good. after that, uh, the company started re uh, recording their, their second album. Good. And Now That I Have You was one of the songs in there that There you album. go. So that started it. And my parents at first were kind of hesitant, as most parents yes, are. Yes. You know, things were going my way. I, I did a few jingles and they made money. <laughs> so that was reassuring for mm -hmm. them. So parang kasi ginangat. You don't need to do this on the side. Mm -hmm. And then the rest <laughs> is history. Yeah. Uh, Zion, ikaw naman, how did you start? A singing contest ba? Auditions? Paano? Actually, I didn't think na magiging singer ako because just the mere thought of performing on stage. Mm -hmm. Parang feeling ko nun sa ibang universe eh. Because I, taga-probinsya ako. Where, mga, where? What's your problem? Uh, dinilupihin bataan. Tapos pag may mga artista ang dumadalo dun, nagkakagulo yung mga tao to the point na may hinihimatay. So oh. parang feeling ko ibang nila lang sila. <laughs> <laughs> so, para, so hindi ko inimagine sa ko on stage or, or on TV. Pero nung Star in a Million Days, mm -hmm. batch one, parang meron lang yatang sumapi sa akin. Sabi ko, mm -hmm. mag-audition nga ako. Isang slot na lang yung kukunin. And nakalaban ko si Froyland Canlas, one and second runner of si TNT. And then si Eric Santos. Ah. So kaming tatlo, and plus another guy, uh, kami naglaban-laban sa isang spot. Oh. So from there, this, I was, hindi, ko na, hindi ako nakapasok, but I was called for the second season. Um, from there, natalo, tapos sumali ulit, sumali. Until my heart got so broken, I decided to stop. I started working in the advertising industry. And I fell in love with it. Mm. And then we found each other. Tapos, um, he joined the Elements Camp. Yung Ever My Only Love, organically, naging number six sa isang radio station without us having fans. Oh, that's amazing. And, and a following. Yes. And great. then pumasok din kami sa mix countdown and MTV countdown. So great. we were like, wait, baka meron namang, baka meron namang future, baka sabi pwede, niya. Oh, okay. And then, she and then asked he was me, working in advertising uh, for, a, for a long time and it was stressing him out because he's a cancer <laughs> survivor. No? But, oh. So I was, I was so concerned about his health also because mm. when, at the time we met, I think he was technically in remission. In remission. Mm. Uh -huh. So parang, this, is, this can't be good for your health. Your, your, your job is stressing you out. 
Uh, and then I was frustrated because we couldn't do anything with music. I thought that the weekends would be enough, mm -hmm. but even the weekends he was working. So I'm, so mm. I'm like, why don't you just quit? And you know, so we tried to f figure things out. Nalang sabi ko, if mahal mo ba yung advertising that much, or mm -hmm. if you had a choice between music and advertising, and kung workable yung music, gagawin mo ba yung music? Sabi mm -hmm. niya, oh. Mm. Tara, sabi ko. Let's just let's find a way. Let's find a way. Hello, everybody. This is Christian Bautista. If you want to see lots of OPM music, don't forget to like our videos and click subscribe.